What's going on guys? I'm Alan. This is the Gibson Garage Speed Shop. It's just my garage. Nothing special. Today we're on the Sable. We're trying to figure out why it's overheating. I did the pressure test on the cooling system. I did the pressure test on the cap. And I did also a gas, an engine gas leak combustion leak test to see if the head gasket was blown basically. Passed all three flying colors. So just for peace of mind that's that's good to know so the next thing is you know is it the thermostat is it the water pump or is it the radiator or some mix of the three but we're gonna start where the money's cheapest and that's the thermostat today it was pretty pretty easy to get to in this car this is the uh 2005 3.0 v6 by the way our thermostat's going to be right behind this housing here there's these three bolts uno dos and trace down at the bottom don't even think we're going to remove the hose we're just going to get this wire out of the way here we'll zip tie this up and out of my way i've got a catch basin underneath and some cardboard it's about it's not too far below the top of everything so hopefully we won't lose too much fluid then we'll put it all back together, throw some RTV on the gasket, and add some coolant, and we'll send them on its way and see if it overheats again. If that doesn't fix it, then we're going to be replacing, I guess we'll just have to try the uh, water pump. We'll just pop this off the valve cover stud there, and we'll zip tie this, so uh, let's say right over here, keep it out of my way. There we go. Okay, here we go, here comes the mess. It's not leaking too much, but you can still see it. There's still some in there. Don't be fooled. Okay, we're down to a drip, so let's just go for it. Oh. Still a little bit in there, not too much. This is, this gasket's hammered in here. Now just scrape off all the old gasket stuff. This could take a while, just take your time. It is aluminum, so don't want to gouge anything. The right, surfaces are cleaned up, so I'm just going to put a little bead of this stuff on here. And we'll put some on both sides. Let's see, how are we gonna do this? Put those in there. Can you see that? Throw a little bead on here. I gotta set this thermostat in here. There's a bleeder hole, if you guys can see, there's a little jingly thing in a hole. That's gonna go up at the 12 o'clock position. And I've got it in backwards. Let's stick it to here. This gets recessed into the thermostat housing. Yeah, 12 o'clock. Uh, that's gonna be tricky, isn't it? Okay, I got an idea. We'll just put a little bit in the recess. Okay, a little bit in the recess. And that'll stick in place while I set it in there. Start the bolts. Okay, 
hand tighten all these first because I'm afraid to let go of it. It's alright, I like tightening up these little guys by hand anyway. Anyway, I can feel it. You know, you gotta feel it. Let that set up for adding coolant to it. Okay, it's off the ramps. I just fired it up. So we're gonna let it get up to temp. And uh, see the loops, basically. Just about a quarter inch, but uh, I don't know if it's hot enough to open up this guy yet. Oh yeah, that's already gotten warm. Wow, it's only been a couple minutes. It says it's middle of the gauge already. And we got heater. Heater's on and blowing. And I know the blend doors work. I just checked that. Cold to hot. AC works. We just need to keep an eye on it for a few minutes now. Seems like it's regulating its temperature. Let's get the hood up. And the level did drop back down a hair, indicating that it uh, took care of its that air bubble finally. It's right at the top of the cold fill. See water moving through the heater circuit here. So the water pump is working. I hope that took care of it. Just need to drive it in the daytime in the heat tomorrow with the AC on, see if it still does it. Well, that's gonna do it, guys. I did drive it around a little bit. I took it to go get some pizza with the AC on. It's blazing hot outside took my wife to her dad's work so he could have some company for a little bit. I drove it around for a plenty amount of time to see if any problems were going to occur and no problems whatsoever. The temperature stayed right in the middle. Um, fans are kicking on and off like they're supposed to. So I would say we dodged a huge costly bullet there. Thermostat solved the problem in our case. He was a little low on oil too. He was like a quart low on oil. And of course, that can contribute to overheating if you don't have enough oil in the engine. So pay attention to that, everybody. But until next time, please like, please subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment, hit that super thanks button, and um, stay tuned because we still got some other awesome things to do. I got to put in the uh, shocks and struts for the Dodge Magnum. And I've got to do a disc brake conversion kit for the C1500. That's going to be pretty fun. I hope that's, that's going to be a fun one for me anyways. But uh, until next time, guys, peace.